You are listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair on RLM Radio. The girl of your dreams has got to be in some bar. Sorry, boys and girls, but this is X-rated. So if you're under 18... Get out, God damn it! Get the point good. And now... Bend over. Y'all ready for this? We do it all night long. And now, your host, Grammy. yippee ki yay cal <laughs> Happy wacka 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 doodle Wednesday, y'all. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me let me adjust my nerve spurs. I was, I was getting a raw spot. Oh, <laughs> moving along. Yeah, y'all are listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair here on Real Liberty Media dot com channel 10 also on the rlm spreaker channel the rlm all over the place rlm rlm radio dot xyz site rlm tune in radio station rlm internet radio station later to be in bitchute and youtube and iheart radio and god knows where else i'm infecting the world <laughs> oh i love it I love it. <laughs> Yippee I A Cal Petty. <laughs> oh, let's see. What's a lart? Lart. Well, lart me then. Ooh. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> okay, moving along. Yeah. It's all that thinking about licorice whips and nerf spurs that got me going. That and it's your guys' fault. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Damn it. Oh, hey, rascal. My key cat came to help. In any case, time to say hey, hi, ho, ho to everybody. Um, Over here on uh, Twitter, thank you, Barman, for tweeting me out and letting everybody know. I also see that Gary L is over here. Hey, Gary L. And I saw you told uh, Pinterest to take the, up the old chocolate whizway the other day. Good on you. I haven't, you know, I've been actually trying to get booted from some sites. And it's just plain not working. Apparently, I need to just quit trying so hard and just, just really just get out there and do it. Do it. What is it? Is it Yoda that says, no try, just do? Yeah, maybe I'm going to have to. I have fun antagonizing people. You ever notice that? <laughs> okay, I like pointing out, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. What you just said there, that made no sense to me. None whatsoever. Let's see. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, QT Anon. Oh my goodness. QT Anon, you have some of the silliest jokes over here on Twitter. In any case, I just got home not too long ago. And uh, so I've been kind of scrolling and trolling on Twitter. And, and for the most part, it's like, except for a joke or two. And oh, great. There's Smollett. Go away. Go away. Why won't these people go away? Why won't they? What the hell? You know, it's kind of like that, um, what was that Chuck Woolery said? Democrats must believe in life after death because, um, you can still vote. Dead people can vote in Chicago. <laughs> okay, I paraphrased, but still. Yeah, so long as you vote Democrat, it's all good. Okay, leaving Twitter behind... Going over to Fakey Book. Hey, Fake Book, how you doing? There's Lisa Smith over here in the RLM on Fake Book. And um, the incorrigible Mr. Zeppo wants me to like his page. <laughs> what the hell's on your page, Mr. Incorrigible Mr. Zeppo? What going on here? Um. Oh, all kind of memes. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I may have to check it out later. In any case, that's pretty much fakey book. Not a whole hell of a lot going on over there. Um, in the matrix.com. Let's see. Who is it that's Kiwi Patriot has been posting like a fiend of late, as well as sarcastic and trauma and sea mount mermaid and acrylic painter man they're just going nuts and george soros is still here Ooh, george soros got removed Ah, well 
darn. I feel bad. Okay, uh, moving along. Ooh, checking your browser before accessing. Really? Why? What the hell? Opera, don't give me no shit. I don't need no shit, because that means I got to fill out paperwork with the EPA, because if you give me lots of shit, I got to store it, and I don't have no place to store it, so I got to do all the paperwork, and you know, taking a shit, it has a lot of paperwork. Moving along. Hi there, Minds. How are you doing? Did you know that canceling plans is okay? Staying home to cook is okay. Disappearing for a bit to get your life together is okay. Resurfacing in a foreign country 10 years later with a new name is okay. I didn't know I could do that. That soon as how this person told me it's okay. I thank you, Jenna Goddess. <laughs> <laughs> resurfacing 10 years later with a different name in a foreign country cycles you got a spare bedroom <laughs> that could be fun actually oh god we would make flash crazier than he already is which could be quite entertaining okay over here on real liberty dot org i see rob works is over here as well as grimmy and bobby bain thank you grimner for letting everybody know that i am live and in person right now truly do appreciate it grim does so much and there's no way i can tell you how much i appreciate you hun except for just pete and repeat sitting on a bench and just keep repeating it i also see over here on this freedoms network that grim let everybody over here know that yeah that crazy woman's on again she's got nerf spurs and licorice whips too booyah and, uh, yeah, it's just pretty much me and Grim and Estrella. Oh, Pushing a Pencil was here, and so was Bob Renner. Lots and lots of people playing today. And, dun, 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 moving along to the place where you need to be. If you want to give me some static. Because, well, you know, I just, I do have crappy internet. Let's say it. I just right out loud. It's not real good um oh you'd sing a duet with me do it do it <laughs> do whack a do whack a do whack a do whack a do and uh, that's roger miller by the way for those of you who are sports fans <laughs> Okay, over here on the RLM, right up top, I see Barman, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world, closely followed by, um, uh, what? I saw that. She can sing. Who can sing? Who are you talking about? <laughs> I see Grimmy is over here. Once again, thanks, Grim, for everything that you do i also see the lovely moose goyle although i did see earlier in the chat that she said be back in a bit i don't know if she's back in a bit yet i don't know how long her bits are oh that sounded naughty <laughs> see what happens when we start talking nerf spurs god dang um <laughs> Ooh, feather boa whips <laughs> <laughs> moving along hi miss kate how are you doing hun why did i say feather boa whips right before i said your name miss kate is there something we should hear about hmm should i break out my dr ruth voice this see you know if you take a donut and you try to mesh no let's don't go there okay um yes i see a flasher going on <laughs> <laughs> no worries, Frumps. Um, DC is also here, as well as Asmodeus Asmo. And looky there, the lovely Beth Z, as well as Chalcedony and an Echelon. We're getting such wonderful names. I'm here, as well as I be Don C. Java, 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 Doctor 2. Ponder Gander. He's been a pondering and a gandering. And you know, last time I heard, you'd go jail for that shit. I also see Rain is in the chat. Hey, Miss Rain. Oh, Grim says Moose has some nice bits. Okay, I'll take your word for it, Grim. Um, <laughs> Hi, Rob Works. Thanks for firing up that bubbler. God knows we need fuel. <laughs> I don't think so. Rome's is here. When in Rome's. Wah, 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 wah. Um, 
Let's see, Vanna White. Vanna, hi, Vanna, how you doing? Weather Dork is also here, as well as uh, Woodman, which, by the way, before I move too far along, thank you, Weather Dork. It was a beautiful day. I had to work, but, you know, it was still a beautiful day in the neighborhood out here in the middle of flyover country. I really, really enjoyed it. I stepped outside as frequently as I possibly could. Um, I also see Phantom. Hi, Phantom. How you doing? And well, then is here as well. And and well and 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 well then. <laughs> he wants to sing a duet with me. Oh, darling. <laughs> oh, that would be scary. <clears throat> I don't know what your voice is like, but I know what my voice is like. And man, there are times, although my grandchildren thoroughly enjoy it when I start singing like a munchkin, they just think that's hilarious as hell. Especially when, um, oh, let's see, what's her name? God dang it. I just listened. Uh, she sings Rumor Has It. Who is that? Um, dang it. I had one of those songs was playing on the radio and I actually knew all the words to it. So I started singing it like a munchkin and I really thought I was going to have to pull over because m my youngest grandchild said, Grammy, I'm going to pee. Stop. But um, no, not Stevie Nicks. Um, I can see her. Heavy set gal. Damn it. Pretty Adele. There you go. Adele. That's her name. Yeah, I was I was singing that like a munchkin and oh lord. <laughs> we do have fun on our road trips. Yes, we do. Okay, uh Beetle. Hi Beetle. Oh yeah, Stevie Nicks is pretty freaking awesome. You know, back in the day I used to uh, when we would get together and do a little puff puff pass going on, I that was my job was I had to do the female voices from whenever we did um you know stuff from Fleetwood Mac because I can I can do kind of sort of a decent Christine McVie and I did a really good Stevie Nick especially after having a couple of tokes moving along <laughs> <laughs> no not Reba it's not Reba Grim it's Adele there you go Miss Kate has it uh moving along where am i at yeah i said hey to beetle colfax 101 as well as that cyborgian noodle hey cyborgian noodle from b2 is also in the chat as well as grommet and jj's no no nine jj's although i do believe that jj's is doing his own redidio kind of thing kozu is also in the house as well as carl marx carl and I know it doesn't work with verbal, but ah, what the heck? What the heck? Uh, yes, I do, Miss Kate. In any case, $500 for Kate. There you go. See, Kate always kicks butt with trivia anyway. So, if it's not Kate, it's Grim or Moose because they got magic butta bing fingers. It. Although every once in a while, Grim gets Grim finger, but oh, let's not go there. <laughs> Hi, pom 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 sauce. I also see sock puppet. Hey, sock. How you doing? Looky there. Vanna White, the letter turner, is also here, as well as Vinicus. That sounds like Spartacus, only not quite so rugged and buff and all that fun stuff. And what? What? Oh, well. K pop. Ooh. Ow, ah, ow. Ow. Rascal, honey, I know, but kneading the bread dough kind of hurts sometimes, girlfriend. Okay, let's go see who's in the red pill as well. Uh, that's not in the RLM. I see Apostle is over here as well as F. Canella and Juana Taco and Katie Troxel and Soily, that Soily bugger. Okay, that's saying hey to everybody in here. Let's see what's going on. Um, dun, dun, magic bits. Oh, there you go. It's magically delicious. Dun, dun, dun. We won't say anything after that, okay? We'll just behave ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I got accused of that today, and I felt uh, insulted. <laughs> oh well. Let's see here. Oh, 
Yeah, I was trying to get a drink. I made I made a beverage today at work that's just absolutely scrum dilly umptious. It basically it's feud and feud there. It's not fermented yet, and yet it's still doing it to me. Um, yep, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. And well, then, um, it's orange and lime and lemon and strawberry that sat and um in water for like three or four hours iced water and just kind of infuse it oh man it's yummy for the tummy very good and then the fedex guy came in and he said do you mind if i have some tea and i said if you don't mind that it's just fruit infused water and then he went oh dude even better so he's fun so let's see perv in the balcony oh my god you're the mother-in-law? I don't want to I don't want to know and well then I just don't want to know about that. Okay. Did you know, you know, seeing as how we're yippee ki yay cow patian and and all of this other fun stuff. Did you know that according to an IntelliHub or at least Ethan Huff over on IntelliHub, it is official. The collapse of mainstream media's credibility is now complete. It took this freaking long. Damn. There's some slow learners in the crowd. Just got to put that out there. I know what a slow learner looks like because there have been some life lessons that I've had that I had to take them several times. Because obviously I just plain didn't get the picture the first time. In any case, according to Attorney General William Barr, he held a press conference this morning to address the contents of the Mueller report just as he promised to do. Well, isn't that special? Now, not long after, Barr delivered the full Mueller report to the public with necessary redactions. Also, as promised, who's the, who's the one that decides what's necessary in these situations? Not that I would want to read that 400-page monstrosity, but I would like to know who, who decides what redactions are necessary. How do you apply for that job? What kind of credentials do you have? Do you have to be very good with a black Sharpie? Is that how that works? I'm very good with a black Sharpie. I can color inside the lines. I just don't want to have nothing to do with that Chad because he's always hanging around. Moving along. <laughs> and yet... The mainstream media, which demanded all of these things, is now and has now received them, still ain't happy. That's because the corporate lame-ass propaganda system, thank you, Grim, for that acronym, or CLAP, um, they are those kind of people that they just ain't happy even if, you know, their ice cream's too cold. Uh-huh, I got ice cream ache. Slow down. Captain Assholio, or maybe they're one of those people that they bitch because the rope you're hanging them with is is just too new and it's it's causing abrasions. It's okay. This will only hurt for a little while. <laughs> Thank you, David Allen Co. for that one. In any case, back to this article. In fact, most fake news media pundits are now foaming at the mouth, rabies, and questioning Barr's loyalties and accusing him of colluding with POTUS Trumple Stilskin to convey the spun message that he's innocent. I don't think he's innocent, but you don't got him on this one. Sorry, boys. Move along. Now, it would seem as though no amount of evidence will ever convince those with the Trump derangement syndrome, or TDS, that it's actually true that they ain't got him on this one. Sorry. You picked the wrong pea shell. The pea's in the one over there, dummy. Now, in a nutshell... Special Counsel Robert Mueller, whom leftist demon craps have been hailing for the past two years as their savior and hero, who was going to take down Trumples, didn't end up procuring what these Trump haters were wishing or wishfully thinking he would. In other words, somebody didn't do a good enough job of baking the evidence. 
It must have fallen. I'll bet you someone slammed the door and it just fell flat. That's what I'm thinking. Now, in response, Trump haters everywhere are reeling with more anger than ever, demanding that Mueller be burned at the stake for failing to prove their deranged conspiracy theories. Okay, you know, I'm kind of enjoying this. Somebody else is being called deranged for having conspiracy theories. Although, basically, a lot of them that I, you know, really hold near and dear to me, or maybe not dear, but hold pretty close, as in it's a thought process that I have become, you know, made a habit out of it, and therefore it's almost a, almost a belief. Oh, be life. There you go. It's almost a be life. Moving along, the CNN White House correspondent Jim Acosta had a coronary in response to Barr's press conference, accusing Barr of clearly laying out a sympathetic presentation of what's supposedly in the Mueller report. Now, 2020 presidential hopeful and leftist demon crap Cory Booker similarly accused Barr of undermining the independence of the entire process. <laughs> You guys are using a completely different dictionary, aren't you? You gotta be. Damn. Now, it is the same merry-go-round of liberal hysteria that sparked and fueled the more than two-year investigation, which many of these same demon craps, assuming that the Mueller report would conclude what they wanted it to conclude. You know, it's not like that climate change science shit where you can just go in there and fudge numbers. He had people looking over his shoulder. He's starting to sweat in places that it's very uncomfortable to be sweaty in. I'm not a guy, so I can't really speak about that, but, you know, moving along. Apparently, he promised to accept as a final ruling matter, but they now they don't accept it. Just ask San Fran Nan. Yeah, that's because the Mueller report exonerated Trumple Stillskin by showing no collusion. <laughs> yeah. So, one wonders if the fake news media will ever drop this ridiculous conspiracy theory and just move along. There's nothing to see here. Perhaps switching into support mode for our lawfully elected president. Okay, let's put an S in there, shall we? Lawfully selected. Okay, let's take out that lawfully. Selected president. There, I can, I can say that one now without having a meltdown or my eye twitch. Now, we certainly won't hold our breaths on this one, though it would be obviously helpful to unify Merkins and strengthen our nation. Really? Okay, Ethan. If it comforts you to think that way. Moving along, he says one thing is for sure. The corporate lame-ass propaganda system, a.k.a. mainstream media, has obliterated all remaining traces of credibility by engaging this baseless witch hunt. It's more of a warlock hunt because male witches are warlocks. And so, therefore, if you're hunting, a moving along. You know, the Clown News Network, a.k.a. CNN, is toast. Yeah, I just saw that. Their ratings had, like, totally tanked. That's funny. <laughs> As is MSNBC, The Washington Post, and the entire social media and tech cabal. Nearly all all of which has conspired to spread this and other anti-Trump conspiracy theories while actively censoring the truth. Oh, they're spreading something all right, but it is not pleasant smelling. Now, we know that fakel book, uh, Google, which is the new word for the F-bomb, oh, Google, Twitter, Microshaft, and Wikipedia and many others are already trying to thwart the 2020 selection against Trumples. They're going to thwart it. Thwart. That's a fun word to say. You ever thought about that? This is, this is because they want to censor independent news outlets that have anything positive to say about Trumple Stillskin. Well, he's not orange anymore. Is that a positive? Or have I just not looked? I try not to, to be quite honest.
and as well as you know generating fake news articles to steer voters away from supporting him you know honey if you're holding on to the steering wheel you got to stop and realize the most dangerous component of any kind of vehicle is the nut holding the wheel and you're steering <laughs> Now, Google in particular has continued to index fake news outlets at the top of their search results list. Well, it's because algorithms and such. And despite the fact that these purveyors of propaganda have been actively peddling Russian collusion conspiracies nonsense virtually nonstop for more than two years and counting. Well, Google was, was going all gaga over it as well. Yep, for two years, the liberal media created hundreds of stories that insinuated some dark conspiracy that cheated Shitlery out of the win in 2016. I think she shit in her own post toasties myself, but that's just my opinion. In reality, oh, see, if I just waited, in reality, it was Shitlery who did that to herself. Ignoring the Rust Belt, having piss-poor messaging, and being an all-around terrible candidate. And even after Special Counsel Robert Mueller submitted his report, which was summarized by Attorney General William Barr after two years of investigating, there is still zero zip zilch goose egg evidence of Russian collusion. Yeah, I'll bet you. If they looked in his back closet, though, they'd see a pink tutu. He'd be a communist pinko spy kind of thing then. But no. Post toasties, yes. Post toasties are Kellogg's killers. Yeah. Did you know when he invented those, it was in a nut house? <laughs> yeah. Oh, awfully. I like that syllable. Off. Fully. Did I say your name? Did I say your name? Oh, and Van Meter has joined. Hi, Van Meter. How you doing, sweetheart? Okay. Yeah, I, I started calling her Shitlery when I saw a meme that, that had a picture of her and old Slick Willie walking up the, the steps up to get into the plane. And she trusted a shart. And you should never trust a shart. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that's called anal leakage. <laughs> she must have had entirely too much olestra. Oh my goodness, just too funny, just too funny. Yeah, you know, as far as I'm concerned, all of these, all these idiots are pretty much idiots. They're all lying, every damn one of them, one way or t'other. And, you know, I really can't say a whole heck of a lot uh, other than I gravitate towards the ones that either tickle my fancy, make me laugh like crazy, or make me want to go, oh, it's snark time. Or, you know, the ones that actually, actually kind of sort of have make me go, wait a minute. Damn it. I kind of sort of agree with that one. Some bitch. But... You know, I so I got to admit, I have some bias as well. And for those of you that don't know what bias is, that means I got two butt cheeks. <laughs> okay, I'll just move along. Man, it's a freaking wackadoodle Wednesday, and it has been a whacked kind of day all day. But, eh. Uh, so that's I think that's probably why my brain is just kind of going thee. <sighs> Candida auris, the silent superbug. Ooh, no, I don't want to go to natural news. Um, where do I want to go next? Yes, I see a flasher going on. Oh, it's Miss Van Miss Van Meter. Hey, Miss Donna, how's ya boiled? I hope it's doing just absolutely splendiferous. Oh, a bobblehead doesn't bobble right? God dang. Oh, are you hearing my... Uh-uh, you ain't hearing my gas for my rocket chair. I did that earlier. I went outside. <laughs> oh, 
goodness. Let's see. Ah, you know, I just really haven't been putting a whole hell of a lot. I think, and therefore, I'm Grams. Um, I think I'm going to d do something wild and woolly and wacky and just maybe, where is Fark? I haven't been to Fark in forever. Fark, 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 Fark. Fark is like my second or third or it's right up there. It's my second favorite four-letter F word. I can say that. Okay, bring up Fark. Come on, you know you want to. You know you want to. Come on, speed dial. If you're not going to do it, there it is. Okay, it's waking. It's waking. Unless Fark is no longer there, and then I will be sad. Then we will have to have a moment of silence. Because that's just not right. Apparently, Fark is not wanting to wake up. So, let's see. Where do I want to go? I really do like Fark, though, because they're snarky. They're smart attitude. I did not poot, Vinny. I did not poot. I fought in your general direction. Ah, your mother's a hamster and your father smells of elderberries. <laughs> okay, this is redunculous. If you're not going to... Stop it. Stop it already. I tell you what, I'll just close that link. No. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. I could tell already. Um, hootie doody. Hootie. What did I do? When you grams, grams. Oh. <laughs> oh, I need, oh, I need to go check out Chuck. Okay. I can go check out Chuck. Out Chuck or up Chuck. I don't want to up Chuck. Stop it. Oh. Okay. This is really ridiculous. Apparently my start page is not wanting to be a start page. So. Let's see. Oh. Hi, Sharon. I have a new follower over on... Oh, my. I have a new follower on, on Twitter. Is that going to get me back to where I was two months ago? Almost. Almost. I'm feeling excited now. Okay. Let's see. See if any of these will work. My little... I'll go to pig. P-I-Gazette.com. Hootie doody waddy and well then... Uh, how much Chuck would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I don't know. How much Chuck would Grams up Chuck if Grams checked out Chuck? Oh, I don't know. It depends on who Chuck is. Hey, Chuckles. How you doing? Uh, if I'd only known. I don't know, Rob. My, I'm, I'm, I'm getting somewhat aggravated with my opera. Ha ha! <laughs> There's some opera for you. Man, if that didn't bust your eardrums, I don't know what will. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll do that, and then we'll do. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to, I'm going to have to do something very special with my computer, I'm thinking. And I really don't want to. Maybe I'll do that next week. Oh, by the way, next week, Wednesday, I will not be here. Because I have two recalls on my car and I have to drive two and a half miles or two and a half miles, two and a half hours to get to the closest dealership. And so um, I will not be back in time to do the rocket chair next week, Wednesday. So just giving you a heads up. Um, let's see. I'm I'm looking at my because pocket at least will let me open things, but I don't know what the hell's going on with my browser that it's being a mega poo poo head. Um, let's see how the five. Oh, okay. No, why does no? How to tell? Are you liking this? Are you having fun? It's almost like a Howard Cosell kind of thing. Uh, how to tell? No, emotional and ooh. Yeah, let's check this out. Emotional intelligence is... 
Yeah, two and a half hours to get to the closest dealership. <laughs> And that's actually better than when I had my Mini Cooper. When I still had my Mini Cooper, I had to drive four and a half hours to get to the closest dealership. So, yeah. <sighs> and yes, Opera is really starting to tick me off. Oh, hey, guess what? There's Brave. Brave is... Thank you, Rob Works. He said it. What? Okay. There we go. This is... It's pocket worthy. It's from Lifehacker. Now, emotional intelligence, the social skill you weren't taught in school. Oh my lord, I can tell already this is going to really bother some people. That's what I'm thinking. So, apparently you're taught about history, science, and math when you're growing up. Okay, we're given his story, and we're given science, and, well, math, you know, anything that starts having foreign alphabet letters put in it is bullshit, because you don't need to have numbers that damn big. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. In any case, most of us, however, aren't taught how to identify or deal with our emotions or the emotions of others. That's because schools should not be responsible for that. That's something parents are supposed to do. You know, like if you're willing to do the bump and uglies to make the baby, then you need to take the repercussions of that action. Just saying. Now, these skills can be valuable, but you'll never get them in a classroom. No, you won't. No, you Well, maybe you will. Interacting with others, you, you can learn that, but don't expect your teacher to teach you shit. Now, emotional intelligence is a shorthand for a psychological researchers use to describe how well individuals can manage their own emotions and react to the emotions of others. Hmm, that sounds like a, how they control themselves and... A little bit of empathy. Now, people who exhibit emotional intelligence have the less obvious skills necessary to get ahead in life, such as managing conflict resolutions, reading and responding to the needs of others. In other words, being able to read body language. Um, and keeping their own emotions from overflowing and disrupting their lives. Okay, I got that last part. But there's times when my emotions just kind of bubble over all over the place, and sometimes it ain't party. Apparently, this guide is going to um, show you what it looks like to be emotionally intelligent. Wow. Hmm. How interesting. So... If uh, measuring emotional intelligence is relatively new in the field of psychology, only first being explored in the mid 80s. Is that the 1880s, 1980s? I'm not sure. I don't understand. Apparently, several models are currently being developed, but for our purposes, we'll examine what's known as the mixed model. Hmm, I prefer shaken, not stirred. So, self awareness, that's number one. Self-awareness involves knowing your own feelings, and this includes having an art accurate assessment of what you're capable of, when you need help, and what your emotional triggers are. I got an emotional boo-boo. Where's my safe room? Those people do not have self-awareness. Self-management. This involves being able to keep your emotions in check when they're becoming disruptive. Self-management involves being able to control outbursts, calmly discussing disagreements, and avoiding activities that undermine you, like extended self-pity or panic. In other words, stay away from college campuses. Motivation. Everyone is motivated by actions, by rewards like money or status. And Goldman's model, however, refers to the motivation for the sake of personal joy, curiosity, or the satisfaction of being productive. Now, I get that one. I really do get that one. Because, you know, I've gotten to the point in my life where it's like, if I'm not going to have a good time doing this, 
if I'm not going to get some satisfaction out of seeing what I was working on and seeing it accomplished, if if it's not producing something beneficial for myself or my loved ones, then I ain't going to do it. Which basically means that's why I don't vote. <laughs> because I find no joy in it. I'm not curious enough to go see if Chad's hanging around. And yeah, there's absolutely no satisfaction and no productivity involved. So I don't vote. How about empathy? Hey, that's a good one. So while the three previous categories refer to a person's internal emotions, this one deals with the emotions of others. And empathy is a skill and practice of reading the emotions of others and responding appropriately. In other words, when someone is standing there calmly, just smiling at you, that does not mean that you need to get in their face and scream and holler and have a pissy fit. Oh wait, that's what happened to that young young man in D.C., isn't it? And he was the bad guy because he stood there with a slight smile. Damn it! He was supposed to do something else. I'm not sure what, but apparently something else. How about social skills? This category involves the application of empathy as well as negotiating the needs of others with your own. This can include finding common ground with others, managing others in a work environment, and being persuasive. You know, I can be persuasive when I want to be. But for the most part, it's like, okay, this is my idea, and I think it's like totally way cool, and if you don't like it, then tell me why you don't like it, and and if I find merit and why you don't like it, then I'll go, oh, cool, okay, I'll go with yours. But if I find no merit in what you're telling me, then I go, okay, fine, well, whether you like it or not, I'm doing it, because it sounds like a good time to me. So, there's a bunch more that you can read about this, but I've actually... Um, I'm bored with it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I'm, I'm bored with it. It's a uh, pocket worthy and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this will, will copy to you guys properly. Cause I'm like, okay, I'm bored. And if it doesn't, well, mm, who cares? Um, yeah, Grim, sometimes emotions can be a real handicap. Just ask Spock, because man, he's the only one in the whole Starship Enterprise that has control of himself. And James T. Kirk is constantly emoting. I mean, constantly emoting. And it's like, dude, I don't know how Spock hasn't pulled those points off of his ears. I'm, or just plain Spock Kirk. And then kind of smirk and go, <laughs> I feel better. <laughs> I know I would have because damn, damn, dude. Whew. I, you know, I heard years ago something about James, William Shatner used to be a, a porn star. And I went, <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a good thing I don't watch that shit. In any case, moving along. Guess what? The pig opened up for me. Booyah! So, the word of the day over here on PIGazette.com is Gavin the Terrible. I think that's a phrase. Hambo. This is a Hamboism, by the way. It's a left coast libtard moon bat who makes San Fran Nan seem conservative. He traded in the keys for San Francisco mayor's office for the keys to Mexifornia's governor's office. The answer to who could be worse than Governor Moonbeam? <laughs> yeah, you know, be careful what you wish for because just might get it. And those people, you know, that walked into those voting booths and went, seriously, could it be any worse? You do realize that worse has bugs in every freaking voting booth. And as soon as someone utters could things be worse? Worse goes, <laughs> hold my beer. Watch this. <laughs> I've seen it time and time again. And it's like, oh, dude, really? It was not a challenge. You know, it's kind of like you, you go up to somebody and you see they did something just totally moronic. And you go, seriously, how stupid can you be? And they take it as a challenge. Whoa, no, seriously, don't. No, I mm, trauma. 
Back to the pig. Quotable quotes section. If the parent or if your parents break the law to get you into college, and uh, you should be expelled from school. They should be indicted, charged, and convicted of a felony and may serve some jail time. Now, if your parents break the law to get you into this country, you should be given a free education, health care on the American taxpayer dime, and everyone should be given amnesty. That's from LibThink. Also, I did see something a couple of months back. A mother who had um, set up residency in a different school district. She did not live there, but she somehow or another did something through the Postal Service to where she'd set up residency in another school system so that she could send her child to that other school system because the other school system was actually a better school system. And she got five years in jail. I, I, a few months back, I read that, that, yeah, she was found guilty and she was sentenced a few months back to five years in jail for trying to keep her kid out of an inner city school. Yeah, go figure. Uh, we're not supposed to do those things. Just ask the leeches that be. You're supposed to stay in your place. Damn it. Know your place and stay there. Okay, in the tasty tidbit section, they walk among us. Number one, will the real dummy please stand up? AT&T fired President John Walter after nine months saying that he lacked intellectual leadership. He received a $26 million severance package. Perhaps it's not Walter who's lacking in intelligence. I'm thinking, uh, that's a duh. Number two, with a little help from our friends, police in Oakland, California spent two hours attempting to subdue a gunman who had barricaded himself inside his home. After firing ten tear gas canisters, officers discovered that the man was standing beside them in the police line, shouting, Please come out and give yourself up. <laughs> Oh, that's freaking priceless. Anybody got video of that shit? I'd, I'd actually pay to see that. Number three. So what was plan B? A California man pretending to have a gun kidnapped a motorist and forced him to drive to two different automated teller machines, wherein the kidnapper proceeded to withdraw money from his own bank accounts. <laughs> but dum bum bum Oh, my Lord. And these people vote. Just putting that out there. Number four, the getaway. This one's for extra points. Oh, and it's from my home state. A man walked into a Topeka, Kansas quick stop and asked for all the money in the cash drawer. Apparently, the take was too small, so he tidied up the store clerk and worked the counter himself for three hours until police showed up and grabbed him. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't... And f they give Florida shit, but yeah, it's Can's ass for a reason. Just saying. I can say that. I live here. Number five. Did I say that? Yeah, the police in Los Angeles had good luck with a robbery suspect who just couldn't control himself during a lineup. When detectives asked each man in the lineup to repeat the words, Give me all your money or I'll shoot, the man shouted, that's not what I said. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they live, kind of. Number six. Are we communicating? I don't know. Are we? A man spoke frankly, or frantically, excuse me. Yeah, read it right, Grams. A man spoke frantically into the phone. My wife is pregnant, and her contractions are only two minutes apart. Is this her first child, the doc doctor asked. No, the man screamed. This is her husband. Uh, okay. <clears throat> having, having been through that process a couple of times in my life, I can honest to God tell you, my ex was just about that bad. <laughs> Number seven. Not the sharpest tool in the shed, eh? In Modesto, California, Rich, or Stephen Richard King was arrested for trying to hold up the Bank of America branch without a weapon. K 
King used a thumb and a finger to simulate a gun. Unfortunately, he failed to keep his hand in his pocket. Hello! And finally, number eight. Last summer, down in Lake Isabella, located in the high desert an hour east of Bakersfield, California, some folks new to boating were having some problems. No matter how hard they tried, they couldn't get their brand new 22-foot boat going. It was very sluggish in an, um, almost every maneuver, no matter how much power they applied. After about an hour of trying to make it go, they putted to the nearby arena, thinking somebody there may be able to tell them what was wrong. Well, a thorough topside check revealed everything in perfect working condition. The engine ran fine, the outdrive went up and down, and the propeller was the correct size and pitch. So, one of the marina guys jumped in the water to check underneath, and he came up choking on water because he was laughing so hard. I remember this is true. Under the boat, still strapped securely in place, was the trailer. Yes, children. They walk among us, they vote, and they reproduce. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> This date in history, the 24th of April, 1833, first soda fountain is patented. Food Nazi grumbling ensues. Oh, yeah. And finally, this date in history, the 24th of April, 1969, Paul McCartney announces that he's not dead. Skeptical Beatles fans demand a second opinion. So that was this date in history over there on PIGazette.com and all kinds of other silliness going on. What's that video? Oh, okay. Aftergrams. 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 You know, aftergrams. Hmm. You know, that sounds like a medication that people need to take after listening to me. I need to go and get my aftergrams. <laughs> Oy vey. Oh, well. What else is going on over here? Oh my goodness, there's a girl with her boobs hanging out. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the home page, gentlemen, over here on PI Gazette. Yeah, because Hambo and Porkas, they're a couple of horn dogs. They can't help it. They're just, they're men. And speaking of horn dogs, and uh, I was scrolling up, and, and in the, the top story, they have male arousal. <laughs> Apparently, they go on to say, I enjoy a good prank, a practical joke, as well as the next guy. But enough is enough. In Humanity 2.0, he really needs to do something about the blatant, hello there, sweet cheeks, male arousal. Something a tad less hair-triggered and somewhat more subtle is needed. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you guys do sometimes have a tendency to go, but a bing but a boom of just about anything just saying so let's see i got a few more minutes how about this one it's a prenuptial interview hmm these pig guys are silly a young woman brought her fiance home to meet her parents after dinner her mother told the girl's father to find out about the young man well, the father invited the fiancé to the study for a talk. So, what are your plans, the father asked the young man. And the young man said, I am a biblical scholar. And uh, the father said, hmm, biblical scholar, admirable. But what will you do to provide a nice house for my daughter? To which the young man replied, I will study and God will provide for us. So, and how will you buy her a beautiful engagement ring such as she deserves, asked the father, to which the young man replied, I will concentrate on my studies, and God will provide for us. And children, asked the father, how will you support them? Don't worry, sir, God will provide. Well, the conversation proceeded like this, and each time the father questioned, the young man or the young idealist insisted that 
God would provide. Later, the mother asked, How did your talk go, honey? And the father answered, He's a Democrat. He has no job. He has no plans. And he thinks, I'm God. But um bum bum That's not nearly as funny as I was anticipating it to be. Okay, guys, that one kind of fell flat with me. In any case, if you want to read more, come on over to PIGazette.com. Say hey to Hambo and Porkus. Tell them Grammy sent you. And laugh as they run wee, wee, wee all the way home. <laughs> or not. Or not. Oh, well. Y'all been listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair here on RealLibertyMedia.com, Channel 10. And later to be on all kinds of Aralumanumanum sites. Um, coming up tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Come on, schedule. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep that swirly going. <sighs> tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, isn't it? Is there anything on on Thursdays? I don't remember. Let me look and see. Ah, that's what it is. It's 20% off with Flash. Yeah, that's why I don't remember it. Because I don't go to those sales anymore. Because I know better. I know there's a hell of a markup before they marked it down. Um, on Friday, I see that the Ponder Gander is on at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Hey, Vinny, how's it going? I will be back on Friday at my regularly scheduled batty time for the Friday edition of the Rocket Chair. And Friday evening at 1, or excuse me, at 11 p.m. Eastern Time is the Freaker's Ball with Grim and Moose Girl. On Saturday is... Uh, Alrighty, on Saturday at noon is the Dork Table, where Flash Rooney Dork is probably going to try and wrangle somebody to come and play. So, yeah, looks like there's going to be some good times had by all coming up here on the RLM. In the interim, I need to go and get me some um, supper fixed, is what I need to do. Because I got some hangries. I got a rumbly in my tumbly. So, y'all have an absolutely amazing rest of your evening. And I hope your Thor's day is absolutely super. <laughs> in the meantime, please remember, I truly do love you all. And I wish you all enough. Good night.